this is Kai Pancha with the weekly Pele report for November 10th, 2016. I wish I could get this whole waterfall in one shot, but I'm up a little too close. <laughs> oh, wow. Amazing. You gotta love it. This is Black Moon Lilith conjunct the sun in the water sign of Scorpio. And yeah, that's in a loose trine to Chiron. Neptune in the south node in the water sign of Pisces, the fish. But what, we, what else we have going on here? This is an interesting time because we've got three things going on. Mars just went into Aquarius. So we've got Mars going into Aquarius. Then later on this week, Friday, we've got Venus going into Capricorn. She's been in Sagittarius for a month, right? And then on Saturday, we've got Mercury going into Sagittarius. So we've got three personal planets, Mercury, Venus, and Mars, all going and changing signs. Speaking of changing, I'm on top of a freaking rock here. I'm trying to turn around and, uh, you know, give you a sense of this whole canyon and do a 360 around here. As now the moon, yeah, that moon in Pisces, Thursday goes into Aries. Saturday goes into Taurus and we have what? Full moon. Yes indeed. At 22 degrees of Taurus, sun's going to be at 22 degrees of Scorpio. Full moon in the Taurus Scorpio axis. Oh yeah. Love, sexuality, intensity, touch, sensation, very powerful full moon coming up here, yeah? At the same time that that's going on, we of course still have Neptune conjunct the south node of the moon up there. Jupiter still coming into a square with Pluto. So what I want to do is just kind of find a little place to sit down and talk to you about the energy of this time. Oh yeah. All right, everybody. What's the buzz? Are we like recovered yet? <laughs> wow. I'll tell you what, you know, we got this Jupiter square Pluto. It's on now. It's intensifying. It's going to go up. You know, Jupiter's going up to like 23. It's going to come back square Pluto again. You know, uh, next like March, April. Then it's going to come back again. Next June, July. We're, we're looking at over six months, okay, of big Jupiter transformation Pluto within government Capricorn. Yeah, so this Pluto in Capricorn is like, this is a time from 2008 to 2023, okay, of death resurrection, of deep, powerful transformation regarding authority, external authority, as in governments, corporations, international United Nations, military, this is this big change of the guard that's going on now. And, you know, it's, it's really interesting because Pluto works in one of four ways. Yeah. Uh, and, and the more resistance there is, the more trauma there is. The more we resist evolution, the more kabang and the kick in the butt we need to get. So the situation is we're moving into a new paradigm. We're leaving the patriarchy behind. The old hierarchical structures, male dominated by, you know, bigots, control freaks, greedy monsters, okay? These days are like over. And 
The more resistance, the more we want to seize control, the more we look at only the third dimensional world of materialism and we run our governments like businesses instead of taking care of Mother Earth, yes, Gaia, the feminine, all the people involved and move towards unity consciousness, okay, the more that we resist this evolutionary development within the human psyche of returning to oneness and we desire to stay in separation, in competition and make enemies and build walls, okay, the more we are pushed by nature, okay, by source towards the precipice, towards the waterfall. Ah! Oh my goodness. And so that is where we are headed, yeah? It could have been a gentle transition, okay? We could have really built this new paradigm, you know, and slowly disintegrated the, you know, dismantled the patriarchy, dismantled the hierarchy, dismantled things and brought in new forms of energy, new currencies, new realities. That was a possibility. Now we see, okay, through the election results that this is not going to happen. What's going to happen instead is wipe out, erase the chalkboard and start over. Yeah, so it's like we're now coming into a place, 2017. I mean, I usually do these Paley reports looking at the week ahead, but let's look a little farther ahead into 2017. I'm going to give a talk on that tonight, you know. No, tomorrow night. This Jupiter opposite Uranus coming in, Jupiter squaring Pluto. I wrote an article on this. I'm going to try to uh, upload that article onto my Facebook page. I'll put it on my website, newparadigmastrology.com. And we just want to look at these dynamic energies of Jupiter, Uranus, and Pluto. Because Pluto is, the, like I said, the evolutionary force of transformation, mutation, death and resurrection. It's the ruler of Scorpio where the sun and Lilith are just riding together right now as I speak, trying to clear up and clean up that shadow. And that's what this week's mantra is about. The Scorpio energy is about drama. It's about espionage and spies and power games. Okay, and you know, climbing to the top and struggling to win. And it's like, this is exactly what we're seeing right before our eyes. So that we can individually and personally get it out of our lives. Get it out of our system. You know, and do this cleanse and purification. And create these new realities. Yes, within ourselves, by ourselves, for ourselves initially. We are the seed people. We are seeding the age of Aquarius. We are seeding a new paradigm. We may not see the blossoms. We may not see the flowers. We may not even see the leaves. But it's up to each one of us to be the seeds. And we seed this by building communities. And we seed this by keeping our hearts open and opening and expanding our magnetic fields in spite of, okay, in witness of these powerful forces outside of ourselves, these scorpionic, okay, banks, governments, yeah, billionaires, corporations. No, what we're doing is what? Full moon in Taurus, yeah? Super moon, baby. Like the biggest moon in like 70 years, okay? She is super close to us. And this is like super emotion and super feminine. And we want to go into our feelings now and we want to really let it go, release the past, let go of the fear, okay? Let go of the dependence. Let go of needing big brother, big sister, big government, big anybody to take care of us. It's time to hunker down. 
Taurus is self-sufficient, yeah? And it's about unconditional self-love. And I am going to like get my act together. I am going to be self-sufficient. I am going to be independent. I'm going to pay off my loans. I'm going to become an entrepreneur. Okay, I'm going to get out of the mundane routine, okay, prisoner of the economy type mentality. And I'm going to break into Mars and Aquarius, which is new communities, future thinkers, prophets, okay, new paradigm, invention, innovation, revolution, and rebellion. But not be doing it alone. The thing is that the more each one of us is independent, not codependent, the more we build communities that are intra-dependent, yeah? Like the clutch or like, you know, the, the gears in a watch or a car. They're going around their own center and those cogs come together, okay? And they build things and make things and we heal this planet, yeah, one wheel at a time. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you got to keep the light shining. You know, I, I just think of the I Ching here these days. The best way to fight evil is to make progress towards the good. Let us not be daunted. Let us not be shot down. Let us not be depressed, even though Saturn is square Neptune, <laughs> which is depression. This can be pretty depressing. Okay, but we can even take that depression and we can take our tears and we can take our emotions and we can take our feelings and they can be fuel. Okay, fuel like, yeah, let's make something different. Let's make something new. Get me out of the grind. Get me out of this wheel of ill fortune. I'm going to jump wheels. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to... I'm jumping wheels. I was in this wheel. I'm, I'm jumping over to this wheel. Yeah. And I'm going to do it by gradually extricating myself from the system. So just like, really, this is such a time. Yeah. Aquarius is about future and non-attachment. Taurus is about self-sufficiency. And yeah, the sun is still moving through Scorpio. Venus is moving into Capricorn. It's not like we are isolated units, but let us gather together with like-minded souls that have similar values, wants, desires, intentions about healing, about love, about, you know, getting Mother Gaia happy again. Yeah. Let us gather together in small seed pods and plant ourselves for the future so that when the big shift comes along, we're talking 2020, when Jupiter joins with Saturn, joins with Pluto, hits the United States Pluto on the south node of Pluto and the south node of Saturn, big time. We've got three years here, folks. I really give you, you know, it's like this time period. Let's give ourselves three years to extricate, to become sovereign, to become independent, powerful, self-loving individuals that are not going to allow, okay, our lives to be messed around with. We're going to build new communities. We're going to build a new paradigm one brick at a time, one loving relationship at a time. You know, we're just going to do it. Yeah. So hang in there. This time period is just, it's a strengthening time. Jupiter squaring Pluto just says, you know, it's time to get a grip on our power. And it's our personal power that's going to bring more to the table. Each one of us needs to be all that we can be so that we bring all of that to the new future. Oh yeah. <laughs> so for this week's mantra, let's go for it. 
no longer addicted to drama. I'm ready for something new. And the more I gain independence, the more I can build with you. This is the Taurus Scorpio axis. This is the full moon. Taurus is unconditional self-love. My resources, my talents, my capacities, my money. I am independent. Nobody messes with me. Boom. Sun moving through Scorpio. The more we reunite our resources, our sexual fluids, our finances, our power, our intelligence, the more we can really transform the world and the more powerful we are together. Too much of one or too much of the other is out of balance and doesn't work. Too much Taurus, we get boring, stagnating, we're just lonely islands out in the middle of nothing, doing nothing. And we lose ourselves in Scorpio and we fight and we struggle for more power and more money and more, you know, blah, 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 more juice, more energy, okay? And we covet and we hide our cards and we gamble and there's all kinds of backstabbing and secrets and, you know, drama, drama, drama. So we let go of that addiction to drama. We come into simple Taurus. I'm going to take care of my stuff get my act together and as I become more independent okay and my relationships are not codependent then I'm gonna come back and build something with you a new watch a new gearbox a new transmission you know where we each have our own wheels and we put them together and we make that wagon roll <laughs> Not by leaning on each other or sucking on each other or, you know, bleeding each other dry or taxing each other, okay, or, you know, fighting each other. No, 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 no. We cooperate, we put our energy together and we build the new paradigm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, one more time. No longer addicted to drama. I'm ready for something new. And the more I gain independence, the more I can build with you. Taurus is the builder. May you build a life you love, no matter what. Namaste, aloha. So much love. <laughs>